Hey, YouTube, it's JP Dillon. Check this thing out. This is a 1981 RCA Playmate 9. It's a little ACDC black and white portable. I found this at a estate sale and I couldn't say no. It's just kind of neat here. It's not never been used. It's obviously been used, but... I also don't think that, uh, yeah, my light's just going to fall down there. I, I think this may have been a display model because this box says white, but the, the television inside is obviously a black cabinet. 1981. Looks like AER095Y. At least that's, uh, that's what I'm thinking here. So anyways, the top is missing off the box. And you can see that somebody's annotated the styrofoam clamshells here so that it can be properly packed away. Come on. There we go. But there it is. In pretty nice shape. Let me get the box and stuff out of the way here. Oh yeah, and there's... The 12 volt car adapter and manuals and accessories. We'll look at that in a second. Pull this away. This is probably going to require two hands. Hold on. We'll get the camera positioned where you can see it a little better. But yeah. So there it is. Kind of cool looking. Best part of it all. It's got a little bit of obvious use here. The paint's kind of flaked away there. But we have a optional battery stock. Contact your RCA dealer. Limited warranty. Operating instructions. Safety points you should know about tel your television. Kind of cool, huh? Anyways. I have absolutely zero idea if this works or not. I uh, picked this up. thought it was too cool to leave there. Apparently these guys purchased this in 82, AER095L with a serial number there. How to adjust your picture and tune, operating external battery pack, service, battery storage, blah, blah, blah. So, pretty cool stuff if you ask me. I like seeing these things. I'll do videos on the other two sets eventually. I got two other sets at the same place that were just absolutely mint but we'll we'll go through those so i have no idea if this works absolutely zero idea so we're going to do the scary thing and just plug it in and juice it and if it works great if it blows up then we get to repair it huh also there's this like weird mark in the face there so let's turn this on we get some kind of noise there Here, high voltage sizzle. There we go. There's a raster. You can hear the corona inside the set. That's what that hissing is. Definitely some smells. Which are getting louder. Yep, the corona smell is getting really, really intense. So there's definitely some cleanup that needs to be done. But it's got ample brightness. Let's look a signal up to it and see what we get. 
I didn't even see the little tag on the back here. That's cool. This one was manufactured in 1980. So they bought it two years after it was made. You can tell the last time this was used, the only thing it was used for was over the air TV because uh, there's no adapters hooked up to it. So we'll pull these away, if I can even do that. The wiring is very stiff. The plasticizer on this wiring is just not there anymore. Let's try not to destroy it. Got to get the wire to pull out of the cabinet before we can disconnect it. Yeah, the wire is super stiff, so it's not one to bend and flex, and I don't want to break it. So maybe we just back the screw out and hope that it will actually come all the way out. Nope, it won't. All right. just going to have to be this way. Yeah, just like that. Hate having to do stuff like that, but we have to attach the transformer somewhere. So, we'll go ahead and tighten these down and then we'll hook a signal up to it and see how the picture looks. Because nominally, it runs. We have our contrast, vertical and horizontal hold on the back. I guess this is part of like a bracket or a mount or something. Low power consumption. Only 33 watts. Fast warm-up time. Plays three ways. Yeah, battery, car, and home. Alright. Let's get a coax hooked up to it. All right. We'll probably open it up and clean up around the CRT to get rid of the, the funkiness of it. So let's see, we're on channel seven. Oh yeah, channel six hasn't been around for a while. I don't know where that went. Come on. Don't miss it. There we go. Five News is sponsored in part by San Diego Community College District. Watch the clippers take on the Memphis. Pretty good DC restoration on this one. Fox Five. Maria Arcega Dunn. Fox Five News. What? Suspects among. Talk to your doctor about them both. Learn how Abby can help you save. Definitely a uh, picture needs to be re-leveled. Very bright though. Turning 65 or retiring soon. I think that looks kind of fun. So where all our cars were? Where the, where the door? Yeah. It's the red portion. Ah, uh, yes. We've lost two networks now because of the switch to ATSC3. Able to get the opportunity with your. Oh my gosh, and reveal the voice coaches who are. Not thinking of packing up your truck and leaving. The corona is calming down a little bit. I love Tiny Troy and his tiny gorgeous hair. He's the best. Make every watch the count. contrast is a little bit too high for my taste. It is kind of beamy. That pot is very touchy, too. Much better. But yeah, this thing's looking good. Uh, Rewind's been moved to KUSI. It used to be on uh, KSWB. 
iBuySD.com is the easiest way to sell your house. When you sell your house to iBuySD.com. Cool, man. So we know it works pretty well, but I still want to see what's inside of it. So let's crack it open and we'll clean up around the bell of the tube and maybe we can get rid of some of that Corona discharge. All right, so I've never really taken one of these apart before. Um, I've already removed the, the two bottom perimeter screws here. This one here, there's a couple up top by the handle. There's one back there on the left and another one on the right. And I still don't know if I have to take it apart in some cockamamie way because the tuner sticks up, but even if you pull the knobs off, the shafts are still sticking up way through the plastic. Now, even though this works, uh, I always like to go through a TV, A, to familiarize myself with it, and B, to catch anything that may be important. So, now that I have the screws loose, oh yeah, I can definitely feel the back cover loose. That whole thing wants to just slide back. So, let's... Let's see if it'll do that. No. Nothing. Oh, there we go. Okay, now it's loose. I guess the tuner's going to come with it. And it wants to tilt back. We have a ground to unplug on the tuner here. And then we have that. So that certainly looks like our service position there. And is there any additional means to it? Nope, everything else is hardwired in, except for the RF plug for the tuner. So let me rotate this so that you can kind of see. And that is our set. Uh, very basic. Mostly discrete. I see only one I see. Let me get this off the mount here and then we'll go kind of deep down in here but that's that I see down there that's like that's the only one that's really visible there might be one underneath the IF cover but this looks all discreet to me this thing is very clean and this doesn't really have a lot of electrolytics in it or does it have ones that are common to fail so that's probably why it's still working fine and we've got this 9 VAWP4 CRT and one of those miniature base sockets it's got the neon as usually a focus regulator or something like that but as you can see there's nothing to stop the high voltage from spilling out so we need to clean that area very thoroughly I'll just do a quick discharge and you can see it's got a stick rectifier there and a very simple flyback. The, con the construction of this is very, very straightforward. Nothing fancy. And I'm trying to see how they're getting the 12 volts because there's no transformer anywhere. So are they just putting it through a giant dropping resistor and it's still connected to the line? I mean, wow. But this thing is super clean. Really cool. And I didn't notice the tuner being particularly dirty or touchy either. But yeah, this, this is great. And we've got two pots there, our contrast and our vertical, which will clean a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to discharge that and clean off the bell of the CRT, and maybe that'll help with our, our hissing, our corona discharge. This thing's pretty cool. Definitely, uh, your only constraint is really the tuner, and I suppose now that you've got the cover off, you can take the tuners loose. But then they're still tethered by all these cables here. They should have just made this a big Molex or a plug-in or something so that you could separate it all. That would have been the smart thing. But, uh, yeah. All right, let me put the camera back on the mount and we'll discharge it and clean it up some. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a clip lead, clip it in here since that's nice and exposed, touch it to the AquaDag. 
no sparky arky. And since it was grounded to the tuner, we'll just touch it to the tuner ground here, but still no sparky arky, so I'm guessing this thing was already discharged. Better safe than annoyed, because when you get hit with that voltage, it, it definitely makes you jerk. Okay, so I'm going to do the simple thing and just get some alcohol. I'm using that because it's very volatile and it'll evaporate quickly and it won't stick around. So I'm just going to wipe this guy down all around the high voltage connection here. Make sure there's no dust or anything that's still there. It's just going to be nice and clean because the hissing you're hearing is literally high voltage arcing to the dust particulates on the bell of the tube which is adjacent to the aquadag, which is grounded, so it's just a current path. Trying not to obliterate the labels here. So we did get a little bit of trash off of there. And now what I'll do is grab me some fader lube. We'll clean the two controls here. One's the contrast. And the other one's the vertical hold, which is actually right in the center. That's normally I usually see it about 60% on one side or the other. So that's cool. I'll probably have to tweak it again anyways, but whatever. Okay, so let's rotate this. And then, for grins and giggles, I'll clean the two potentiometers, the brightness that's down in here, and the volume that's down in here. That way they're just cleaned. Okay, so those, that's all cleaned up. I want to show you a little notice here I'm seeing. And that says it's normally supposed to run at 12 and a half kilovolts, not to exceed 19. So that's why we have a nice bright picture, a lot more high voltage than typical. Most of these hover around 8 to 10. But I think just so that we can do, the only service adjustment on here is the vertical height. And so what I'm going to do is, is just reattach the ground to the tuner with a longer lead like this. And then I think I want to adjust the I want to adjust the vertical height uh, and maybe do it in such a way that you guys can see it. So or at least see the difference. Let me reattach all this. I'd be curious to see how they derive the 12 volts because there's no transformer. So I'm guessing that they just have these two giant, actually three giant resistors here that are just a big voltage divider. And since the television doesn't draw a huge amount of power, they're just uh, doing it that way. Come on. Fumble fingers here trying to figure out how to attach this cord that was just previously attached. All right, there we go. And then we'll plug this back in. Trying not to damage or destroy anything.
can see that most of our hiss is gone. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is we're going to go to a 4x3 program or at least attempt to. All right, and then I'm going to come back here and adjust the vertical height until we start to get black at the top and the bottom. And then back it off a little. Just until our. Get a little tiny bit over scan there. That's about where that's set at, right? There's no other adjustments to make in this set. That's all it is. But no more nasty hiss. There's a little bit of crackle, but all that corona hiss is gone. Yeah, no more hiss. So we took care of that issue. All right, let's put it back together. Let's put it back together. Should be fairly easy, right? Came apart really easy. Yeah, we're just going to rotate this, disconnect our little clips, and exactly as we took it apart. So, tilt this up just enough to get the ground wire attached. And get this on its track, clear the stuff out of the way. Got to get it lined up with the controls at the bottom here. There we go. And push back together. And then let's see here. The rest of these are just going to be reattaching screws short one and the only one that's short it's likely to go here and we got these ones up here so if you had to service it while it was apart and running it wouldn't be very fun but Overall, the layout of this machine is pretty decent. I'm going to re-glue that sticker before it completely falls off. I'm just going to leave the all the tags and everything on it. I think it's pretty cool. Truth be told, I don't really intend on keeping it. I do like it, but... I have enough small black and white portable TVs to fill a small car, so I should probably, since they don't get used all that often, find it in a new home. So keep your eyes out on eBay and such, and it'll probably get sold. I'm just going to cut down on the amount of hoarding that I do from now on, just because I'm, I have too much crap. Alright. Let's reattach the plug here. And then we'll spin this back around. Turn it back on, double check everything. Yeah, it comes up pretty quick. There we go. Good looking picture on it. You gotta stay off of uh, content, otherwise, it will get identified. Actually, it's not unlevel. I mean, the bottom part looks fine. The top has a little bit of a slant there, so it may just be a yoke defect. 
terrific partnership, Jonathan. So good morning. I'm going to leave her hand. You see, mine are quick. <laughs> That's got a nice picture. I happen to pass a tennis court. Tennis court in the past. Tennis court in the past. In the past. In the past. In the past. Love it. Love digital, man. This has made our lives so much better. The lean Jesse put on your property. I tried to. Catalog first alert weather to deliver the certified most. Pretty cool, man. Oh, a bird lure. We can activate our suit. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy this little show and tell. And uh, definitely keep your eyes out if you really want this thing. It'll go up on eBay. Um, because I don't need another black and white TV, and it'll help pay for the other two. But yeah, thanks for watching. More stuff to come.